Hey everyone, it's Tony Moore here at the 46th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards, and I have the interview that you all have been waiting for. Me, finally with Mr. Kyler Pettis. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, our fans at Dish and Days, uh, they pick on me because there was one time where on the show you walked off with your shirt off, and I gave you compliments, and ever since then, they have labeled me Tony Pettis. So, like... They are going to be all about this interview. Well, Tony Pettis it is. <laughs> so how have you been? Catch us up since uh, you've been gone off the show. What have you been up to? What have you been doing? Uh, a lot of family time, uh, a lot of reading, a lot of uh, mind, body, soul alignment. Yes. Uh, and then, you know, still with the acting stuff. There we go. Now, you're here because you've been nominated for an Outstanding Younger Actor in a Daytime Series. How does it feel to be nominated for your work as Theo Carver? Uh, it feels great. I mean, you know, acting something I wanted to do since I was little and to be like acknowledged in this way, it's, it's insane. It's a dream come true. Awesome. Now, with the character of Theo, he went through a lot, especially having autism, and then there was a storyline where JJ shot Theo. How, as an actor, did you prepare for those types of things with the character, first with the autism and then with that particular storyline? Uh, the autism was something that I was like really uh, paying attention to because you don't want to take that subject and like make a fool of yourself or not respect it. Right. Um, so I, I actually worked at a speech learning uh, or speech language and learning center. It deals with like people like that, uh, like when I was I think 16. So I had some uh, hands-on training there, and then just reading and research. Um, and then I guess for the shooting. Um, I kind of just tried to be present and feel what it would be like to have a weapon pointed at you and be shot yeah. and, you know, feel that pain hit the floor and, exactly. you know, go from there. Well, because it was, we thought for two seconds with, with the way that the, the mood of, you know, the country, when JJ shot you, it was like the whole police brutality against African Americans and things like that. And we were anxious to see kind of how they handle it. And I have to say, Days handle it very well. You did a great job. Uh, Cassie, uh, Casey Moss did a great job with the storyline. Great job with that. Um, we do nothing but praise you at Dish and Days because you came onto the show and you knocked it out of the park for us. Um, I'm sure you've been asked this many of times, but we're going to ask you here. Is there any hope of seeing Theo come back from South Africa and come back to Salem. There's always hope. Listen, let me tell you, we're hoping. We're gonna put that energy out there. And then, of course, we're gonna put that energy out there that uh, Theo comes back with a friend from South Africa. I'm just gonna put that out there as well. You know, maybe he met someone in South Africa and it's me and I can be a friend and come into Salem and things like that. Hey, it's a we'll write it in, we'll write it in. Cool. We, we got you covered. Kyler, thank you so much for joining us and thank best you. of luck to you. Thank you, I appreciate it.